Now, I think it's pretty safe to say that everything related to what John and Dave are putting together and how they are on a course of reviving Star Wars Legends, that they really are getting a great shot at reuniting the Star Wars fans and bringing the fandom to a level like never before that's going to be more reunited in ways that we have never seen. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future Star Wars updates. I'm also on Twitter at Mike Zero One. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. Now that brings us to, of course, what's been happening with Mando Season 3 and Season 4. These two seasons, by the way, have been worked on back-to-back -back by John and Dave. Not necessarily filmed back-to-back, -back, but just worked on in different phases of development. So Mando Season 4, the script is still coming together. The storyboards are still being illustrated by John and Dave. And they are planning to begin filming sometime by the end of this summer. So figure around maybe August or the very beginning of September. So with that being said too, we know one exciting thing about what John and Dave are prepping is to really heavily incorporate Legends into the Mandoverse. It's all about really kind of bringing Star Wars to a new level that we have never seen before, giving us old concepts that are very well either A, forgotten, or B, not as popular, and to really kind of boost the familiarity of many beloved moments in Legends. So, with that being said, that brings us to something very unique about what Jon Favreau and Dave are doing with the character of Anakin Skywalker portrayed by Hayden Christensen. Let's get into it because it is going to be quite a ride until we are going to be able to see this in live action form. And it's really going to be something truly new to the Star Wars franchise that we have never seen. So with that being said, with Disney and Lucasfilm getting ready to develop new Star Wars shows and films to add to the roadmap, John and Dave are also getting ready to do something truly incredible for the fans. Now, it's noted that both Favreau and Filoni have been working on a remarkable storyboard that is set to take, of course, place in, of course, multiple areas. A forgotten key moment from Star Wars Legends coming back that will be used for The Mandalorian 4. Now, John and Dave are planning to completely recreate Leia Organa Solo in a similar way from Rogue One, with added new technology as well to work with Hayden Christensen and his portrayal of Anakin's Force Ghost to meet with Leia for the first time in live-action form. With Mando 4 aimed to be 12 whole episodes long, many of those episodes will be considered quote-unquote specialty episodes, in which a focus is away from Din Djarin and Grogu. This one in particular brings Leia back to the forest moon of Endor to continue her Jedi training in a similar way that Rey did in The Rise of Skywalker. The storyboard continues of Anakin's voice reaching out to Leia and then appearing before her. It's said that the scene is aimed to be a moment in which Anakin tries to connect with his daughter some years after Return of the Jedi, and of course Leia is now a fully trained, nearly fully trained Force user, or Jedi so to speak, to communicate with Anakin. Now let me stop right here for one second before we get to the next material that's even all the more exciting is that... We know that Hayden signed a multi-show contract deal, so let's just be aware about that. Uh, he signed a 10-year deal, to be exact. Alright, 10 years worth of Star Wars projects, basically. And that really just goes to show you that Disney is very ambitious about the future. They have a lot of plans ahead of themselves. And basically, it's all about making this into a big success. And it all is really reliant on this year, 2023. Very important year, because you need Mando 3 to be very well received. You need Ahsoka to be very well received to kind of kickstart that momentum by what John and Dave are putting together for this Mandoverse at large. Now about this Leia and Anakin connection, this was, yes, done in Star Wars Legends. I don't know if you guys knew this, but it was a thing in Legends. It's not all that well known. Um, it's not the biggest moment in the Star Wars Legends universe, but it is there. And what happens is, Anakin does try to reach out to Leia multiple times, and she keeps on refusing to even talk to him. 
Similar thing is about to happen here in one of the storyboards provided by John and Dave that they are currently illustrating. Except it doesn't, it doesn't happen multiple times in which Leia refuses to talk to him. She only shoots him down once. So let's tap into the further details on this. Now, however, at first, all right, she does not accept his presence and actually asks him to leave. Followed up by another scene on Endor in which Anakin appears again and Leia forgives and accepts him trying to connect and offer truths about why and how he fell to the dark side to explain himself. The capturing moment for Leia is how Anakin provides details, details about Padme Amidala, her mother, to herself. It's said to be a scene in which Leia learns about her mother more through Anakin Skywalker's Force Ghost. Guys, I can't stress this enough. This sounds like one of the most emotional moments that John and Dave could absolutely put together. It really could very well fit in nicely, you know, putting a nice theme in the background by John Williams, just something so soft and heartwarming. They could really do it. They could pull it off. Now, this would not only respect Padme's legacy, but this would also kind of show us how Leia got her information about her mother on a personal level and how she knows about that in the canon. Now sure, there's a lot of documents that she learns about Padme, you know, uh, she's a politician after all, there's history of her, yes, we know that, but on a personal level, a deep personal level, it is in canon that Leia knows a little bit about that. And this is the, basically gonna be John and Dave's way of explaining exactly how Leia knows about her mother so well. Now, this is a very interesting moment because it takes place on Endor. Uh, it takes place in a moment in time in which Leia is basically almost becoming a Jedi before she turns herself down from training through that way. And so it makes you wonder exactly, you know, where or when I should say this takes place. This is very likely just before the flashback scene that we do get in Rise of Skywalker when Luke is talking to Rey about Leia's saber and how she has a vision about her son dying. And that's when she gives up becoming a Jedi or on the path to become a Jedi. If John and Dave want to retcon that, they could. We know that Mando 4 is going to hold many retcons, by the way, and it's going to really twist things around with the sequel trilogy movies, so that could easily change around, especially when that act exactly happens also. So overall, this, I think, is a very crucial moment in Star Wars because we never got to see anything like this, nothing near anything like this. Anakin's Force Ghost communicating with Leia, his own daughter. Never seen it before, right? Even on Endor, Leia does not see Anakin. And there's a lot of, um, you know, backstory to that. We'll talk about that at another point, but... Very interesting stuff, I gotta say. I mean, it is very exciting to hear of what John and Dave are putting together through Mando Season 4, how it's gonna be 12 episodes long. Again, they are planning to make this the final season unless it becomes wildly successful. Anyways, guys, with that being said, drop a comment below, fill me in on what you guys have to say about all of this below, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.